Heart Mini Marathon is right around the corner. Here with more details is Taylor Meyer of the Heart Mini team and Kate Retgers with one of the event's biggest sponsors, Cintas. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Taylor, I want to start with you. Um, for people who have never been to the mini marathon they probably heard about it but if they haven't tell us more about it what's it all about yeah so it's a wonderful event we truly do have a race for everyone ranging anywhere from a half marathon all the way down to a 1k um, steps for kids or run for kids which is really exciting um, it just raises money for heart disease and stroke so really raising that awareness yeah and last year's event I think you had 17,000 Yep. Participants, that's huge. Yeah. What what are you guys expecting for this year? Same about the same amount of numbers. Um, we're expecting a little bit more with the St. Patrick's Day, so we're excited to see everyone yeah. come out and join us. That so. certainly won't hurt. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And Kate, tell us a little bit about what it means for Cintas to be a sponsor. Why do you guys get involved with this event? Sure. Uh, we have had a long-standing relationship with the American Heart Association that starts back to 2005. And really the reason that we started is our first aid and safety division is one of the training certified uh, providers of the American Heart Association's first aid, CPR, and AED use. And uh, we started with that partnership. We are now proud to say that we are the largest provider mm. of that training. And because of that partnership, the American Heart Association and this event in particular has become our most popular and impactful philanthropic event that we support. And we have over 200 certified trainers throughout the United States that work with the American Heart Association. Wow, that is fantastic. And, and specifically, Cintas is a sponsors the community teams within the marathon. Tell us more about those community teams. We do. So the community teams is something we're really passionate about because it's really personal. Uh, those are teams that come together with their friends, their family, their colleagues to walk for a very personal reason uh, that ties to the AHA mission. So it could be that they're personally impacted. It could be that they have a survivor that they're walking with or walking for. And it's something that uh, creates that community feel so that they're all together to celebrate and walk together. Mm -hmm. So those are the people like we were seeing here in this video that you see standing on the street corners, you know, I'm I'm or supporting so and so or I'm running or walking for so and so. Those are the community teams. And if you're not walking, I'm going to jump around a little bit yeah. and tell go back to if you if you can't make it to the race and you maybe want to support one of these community teams, mm -hmm. is there a way that you can do that? You absolutely can. Just go to www.heartmini.org um, or heart.org and get on there and just pick a team. You can go through a community team, see if there's someone you know yeah. and support that way. Gosh, and boy, in the past couple of years have we learned about how important it is to have training for AEDs, you know, and CPR with Damar Hamlin and other things that have gone around the, the tri-state. Have you seen an increase in the number of people that have either wanted to be involved with Cintas or that have just registered for the event because they've really had an increased awareness about how important this all is? Truly, and I think it's amazing, especially with community teams. We've had so many new teams this year register, which is a great thing and also kind of a sad thing because they've had some sort of right. impact, but yeah. I think people are really raising that awareness. Yeah, we have over 500 employee partners at CentOS that are joining us either in person or virtually this year, and that community teams area that we have uh, right off of Broadway between 5th and 6th Street uh, before, during, and after the event is a great way to celebrate um, this year we're going to have a photo booth. We're going to have bagels from the bagelry. We'll have coffee from Proud Hound Coffee. So we really hope that everyone yeah. will join us. All kinds of great things. So, so let's wrap up by giving people the details of the event, when, where, and how can they register? Yeah, so right downtown in front of Procter & Gamble. Um, just register on our website. And you can even register the day of. You don't even have to go on the website yeah. if you don't want to. And it's so. this weekend, right? This weekend on Sunday. On Sunday. So yeah, yeah you got St. Patty's and yes. the, the, the walk so, and run. <laughs> so make sure you register. Well, thank you so much and good luck with the event this weekend. Thank you. Thank you. All right, time. Hey there, thanks so much for visiting the Local 12 YouTube channel. Click the links, hit subscribe to get notified anytime we post content to this channel.